By the year 2020, all ships will have to reduce the sulfur content in the exhaust gas to 0.5% by weight, a reduction of over 85% from current standards. Exhaust scrubbing units have proven to be a reliable and cost-effective method to comply with the new IMO emission standards. When marine scrubbers are used, a dirty wash water is generated. This wash water must be treated before being discharged overboard. Oberlin filter technology has been proven to be the logical solution in treating 100% of this stream. Our system is a simple one-step solution that takes the dirty wash water and produces extremely clean water that's safe to discharge overboard, while also producing a dry solid that's safe, non-hazardous, and easy to dispose of at port. The Oberlin system is designed to work in corrosive seawater environments. The Oberlin one-step process is fast becoming the strong choice to replace other wash water treatment processes that are constantly plagued with problems. Here's how the system works. The main components of this closed loop system are the ship's scrubber, a process tank to hold wash water generated from the scrubbing process, and the Oberlin treatment system. During the scrubbing process, engine exhaust is cleaned with seawater. The now dirty seawater is collected in the process tank ready for treatment. Your Oberlin treatment system will be comprised of three major components, an Oberlin pressure filter, a dirty treatment tank, and a conditioner feeder. To begin, an inert conditioner is stored in the conditioner feeder, which automatically adds the correct amount needed to process the dirty water when it's transferred to the treatment tank. The conditioner aids in the filtration process and is consumed at a very slow rate. Dirty scrubber water is transferred to the treatment tank. Conditioner is automatically added per batch. The filtering cycle begins with the filter chambers closing and sealing against a section of filter media. Dirty water is pumped from the treatment tank into the upper chamber. Dirt solids are trapped in the upper chamber, clean filtrate drains to the lower chamber. What makes the Oberlin pressure filter so efficient is our Dirt Filters Dirt process. Inside the upper chamber, dirty solids collect on the filter media, forming a cake layer. The cake layer builds as filtration continues, efficiently separating the solids below one micron. Filtrate passes from the lower chamber and is collected in the filtrate tank. The clean filtrate is pumped to the existing sample analysis panel, then discharged back to the sea. Once the pressure inside the chamber has reached a set point, the filtering cycle ends and the drying cycle begins. Air enters the upper chamber to displace remaining water and dry the cake. When the drying cycle has ended, the system enters the discharge cycle. The chambers separate and the media take-up motor is energized so filter cake can be removed and collected. Filter cake material is safe to hold on board and discard at port. The filtering process repeats and runs automatically with no operator attention. When dirty fluid in the treatment tank reaches a low level, it is refilled, conditioner is added and the system filters without interruption. Oberlin pressure filter benefits Simple one-step process that is automatic and has very little maintenance downtime. 100% wash water processing. No collection of hazardous residual concentrates to dispose of. No chemical feed pretreatment or chemical cleaning. Eliminates the problems associated with chemical handling and storage and disposal. Produces extremely clean water exceeding IMO 2015 guidelines allowing for safe discharge overboard. Produces dry solids that are non-hazardous and less expensive to dispose of. Designed for 100% seawater operation, no fresh water needed. Engineered for easy integration with the client's emission scrubber. Range of sizes available to accommodate the scrubber wash water purge rates. Oberlin Maritime Filtration Technology offers the most flexible and cost-effective solutions to help you meet the new IMO 2020 emission standards.